Welcome to your new Moodle course shell. I wanted to introduce you to what the screen layout looks like when you first log in. When you first log in, it's a little overwhelming because there's a lot of white space and not a lot of information in your course. When I'm looking at this course, I can see that my sections are broken up into weeks or topics if I choose. I can change that format and we'll show you how to do that later. More importantly, this top block here that we see is our primary box. We refer to this as our course summary or our course welcome um, information. And part of that is to give students an idea of how the course is laid out, giving them some instructions, some guidance, and welcome them to the course, make it inviting. Whenever you're working in your course, you generally have to toggle between turning your editing on and off. I had my editing on to start. When I turn my editing off, this is what my course looks like. This is what the students would see in this layout. Now, of course, each one of these sections don't have anything in them, and so we need to spend some time getting content into them. So I'm going to show you another course. I'll toggle here to another course that has started some process. And in this process, you can see there's been some information added into the course welcome area. Again, this area is here for the duration of the course, so it's a good idea to put things in this area that you might want students to access quickly and easily every time they log in. And then each week is starting to get some more content. Looking at this, it still looks a little overwhelming to me as if I were a student, I wouldn't quite know where to go from here. I don't have a lot of direction or guidance to point me as to where I need to go. Um, as I scroll down, I can see the weeks broken up, but I have really no indication as to what I need to be doing. Do I need to be clicking on these links here? What do these links take me to? Because I'm an expert Moodle user, I know this icon is a forum, but a student who's new to online learning may not know that's a forum. So it's good to give keywords or indicators as to what it is they're looking for. So this is one progression of a course. Let me take you to another progression of the same kind of course. In this course, I have used the welcome summary, that first block that we saw at the top, as a place to kind of describe what the course is about, as well as give students some idea of here are some things that they can use to contact me, some general forums. Again, these are forums that are going to be used throughout the duration of the course. The students can always access them. Some access to facts and resources that they might need. And then as we scroll down into the individual weeks, we can see this is our week of welcome. We're getting introduced to the course. I have some activities for them. So I've broken them down into a list, essentially, of what to do. I'm giving them keywords as to what to do with these links. Um, when they see this link, oh, I need to read the weekly lecture. So when I click on this, I should see some lecture material that I would read. I need to post um, an orientation exercise in the forum. I need to submit some sort of homework assignment. I need to respond to some type of survey. So in here, I'm giving them some keywords that will help them understand what to do with those links. And as they go into each week, I try to stay consistent with providing them an introduction to the week, what it is we'll be covering, and then a list of their activities, what is it they need to do. So when you're looking at these courses, the different versions, I'm going to go back to them. This is what you would start with, a very blank template with nothing in it. Your goal is to get information in here and try to make it make sense to you and your students. To something like this where there are some links. Um, I've seen courses where there's just a laundry list of links um, all in the welcome area, not utilizing the individual weeks within the course. But again, it's not giving students a lot of guidance as to where they need to go, what they need to do. And then finally, as a best practice, showing students what it is that you want them to understand about the course. Introducing them, making them feel welcome, 
um, encouraging them to be part of the course, providing them access to different links, and giving them some guidance as to what it is they need to do within the course. So take some time and think about how you might want your course to look and how you might use the tools or resources that we're going to cover to accomplish that.